All right, now I'll show you how to get an internal variable out to an external variable. It's very simple. So what's going to happen here? I have chance, and now I need something called random chance. Okay, and this is the static variable. So the static variable gets defined just like this. For each one of these, under chance, so here's chance, all I do is have to put random chance equals chance. And then it will return the random chance. So each one I get one of those. Bam, 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 and here. Also, variable chance is defined here. So do I need it defined here and here? No. So you can take the variable statement out. I didn't do that in the last video. And that's how you get uh, an if statement variable, which is this. This is caused from an if statement out to an external source. So where is it going to go? Well, that's let, let me show you where this all gets. Now we're going to have the side scroller player. And the side scroller player is going to have a new thing that I'm going to show you what it looks like. It's this. So type this out at below. It's called function on GUI. It's a GUI label. It's 200 units over, 10, 200 units wide, 50 units tall. And it's going to be a random number. It's going to show it on the screen. And it's best to do one of these little numbers where you got the colon and then a space. And then plus damage taken. All right, so damage taken, what's that? And don't forget the, the opening and closing brackets anytime you use an on GUI. So the player is responsible for having the on GUI, not an external on GUI script. That's good. Now we're lear learning how to narrow down our scripts a little bit. So this is how damage taken works. On the side scroller player, again, this, this script is on the internet. It's a veritable damage taken integer. So it's an integer at the top that gets constantly updated. And the only way to update something is if it's in the function update. So in damage under update, damage taken equals simple raycast period random chance. Well, that's how we do it. Here's raycast. Here's the static variable random chance. This is the simple raycast script. And now I have to write that as simple raycast period random chance. So now what's going to happen after I hit save and hit play, I'm going to have a number at the top. Okay. And when I get too far away, it's going to read zero because he can't hit me. But as soon as I get near, it's going to randomize it. So from one to 10 and Ray casting works like this, a complete straight line. So if I jump, I have a window of opportunity to shoot. Okay, so that's why this is pretty powerful. Now, if I use the a uh, different kind of ray, there's a ray cast and there's a ray draw line type deal. Um, you can make it so it has a, a degree out here, but this makes it a little bit uh, interesting because now I have a window of opportunity. He doesn't own me quite so bad. All right, so there we go. At the top, do I really want that? Do I want to have the ability to jump over and have him still shoot me? Well, no. I think I think if I'm above him, he's not going to be able to shoot me per se. So that's what I'm going to kind of look at the script and say, well, if he's up, he's zero. Here's up. And all I do is have to take this variable, control C, and put it here. So now he can't cause damage when I'm above him. Making him the perfect side scroller nemesis. I'm sure there is enemies that have the ability to shoot up. So now it, you can kind of see that the script is very universal. It can handle a lot of different enemies, a lot of different ways to handle things. Uh, not only that, does it, it also does this. It gives me a range of hurt. 
So now I can say my max damage, if it's a different character altogether, it's going to have a different amount of casting. Also, look at this. I don't even have the actual script in there. And this is good. It's actually working without being told um, the target. I don't want the enemy as the target. But okay, wait. Yeah, that's right. Good. You know, if it's a good script, if it functions without being told to function. Cool. All right, now that you got random numbers down, what happens next? Well, we have to calculate the score of the player based upon a certain amount of life. So that's handled in the next video.